Hey everybody! Okay, so today I thought maybe you would like to look at my studio and see how I have it set up. So over there are all the paintings that are varnished and ready to be sold. Um, and then I have kind of like a little bench there. Underneath where I store um, a lot of extra canvases, vases, glassware, and things that I'm working on um, functional art projects. Um, but yeah, those are kind of all varnished and pretty much ready to go, all that. And then I try to hang some of my uh, wall, um, art on my wall and I switch, you know, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, that giant box right there is kind of exciting. It's an Arteza box and it's, um, I'm gonna do an, an Arteza unboxing and um, review of some Arteza products. They asked me to do that, so. I'm really excited. This shelving unit has completed projects and partially completed projects and sometimes canvases that I'm going to cover up. Um, but yeah, so there's just some things on there. Sometimes I'll use it for drying if I run out of space and then on the bottom shelf I have a lot of fresh new canvases ready to be used and I store underneath, you know, the alcohol for alcohol inks and stuff like that. And then I have my art cabinet with all my brushes and everything on top and um, my stereo, which music is really important to me. Um, inside my cabinet, I have my alcohol ink set up right there so I can just pull out that basket and use it. And then, you know, various papers and other little, you know, little things that you need sometimes. And then backup paints and some that new pouring medium that I've been using. Um, I've been testing some primary elements, so I'll have to show you. This is where I dry a lot of my um, artwork when it's just drying. That one's been long dried, but I haven't been able to paint in a while. And then underneath this giant table, I have storage. Um, those are canvases to be repurposed. And that's where I do all my filming. That's where the magic happens. And I have my little uh, overhead bar there where I hang my camera off of this little tripod thingy. And that actually is a dog grooming bar and that thing works great. So I really love it. You can adjust the height, it's really easy. Um, these are all the tools that I use almost every time that I paint. So, um, you know, my little box of weird tools back there and then water, glue, pouring medium, popsicle sticks, gloves, just things that I'm gonna use every time. And then every time I have an order or I see a box on the side of the road, I keep it over there. And that's the boxes that I use for packing people's uh, paintings when I send them out. Underneath here I have a giant tub of my extra pouring mediums and my Floetrol, so I just kinda keep that handy. Um, the biggest challenge for me has been not getting things on the floor, unfortunately. But this is the little, this is a tray that I use. It is um, for boots, I think, and I can't say I love it because of all those little um, raised things. Sometimes I think, yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's what I have right now that fits the table. And then I have... Um, the little golden high flow, those are all my high flow acrylics and my torch and my little tools and all that and um, oh my little airbrush holder, that makes it really easy for me to just grab my airbrush when I need to grab it and um, pull it off of there and it's all just kind of ready to go for me if I so choose to use it. And then I have my lighting equipment which is not really fancy or anything. Um, music. <laughs> My iPod is mostly just for music and that's what you know I use all the time. It's important to have a fire extinguisher because let's face it we're working with a lot of flammable things and then there's my extra paints down there like got my like, golden uh, tube paints and then I think that's oh milk paints and there's some other little tube paints down there I used to try uh, my Windsor and Newton paints in there. Those are my Art Mind craft paints. I love those. Those are so pretty. 
pretty so I've been kind of buying those and then underneath there I haven't done much on camera but those are the Martha Stewart craft paints they're awesome I've got some Liquitech basics in the tube back there this is my um, go-to bin which is why it's on top and that's all my golden fluid acrylics and I got those and a few Vallejo thrown in there for good measure and then my extra golden ones on the top and then we have the deco art satin enamels the metallic satin enamels and just some extra um, paints in the top I have my little primary elements um, and then some extra golden products in there some little retardant and modeling paste and I don't know what else is in there um this is oh these are all the little deco art metallics most of them I bought them in a huge set so they came with a lot and um, I really like the deco art metallics they're pretty they're pretty awesome so um, and then a whole nother little set just some colors I'd like to try out or um, yeah when I just need a little bit of a some color and I didn't want to make it so that's my um, lighting umbrella and it helps illuminate that corner which is really dark that's the other umbrella but I I do have to use that at night when the light from the window is not coming in so that's pretty much my studio you guys and I just thought you might enjoy seeing the way my setup is unfortunately my fiance has had to give up his living room <laughs> he loves me so much <laughs> that's all I could say so much that we don't have a living room we don't have a couch we don't have a TV we don't have a gaming station we don't have anything this is my art studio and you know if you have someone like that in your life that blesses you with the gift of taking a family space and using it for your own you know then you would know how fortunate I feel right now so thanks so much for watching you guys I really appreciate it um, please like comment and subscribe hit the bell so you know when I'm putting out another video and I can't wait to make more art videos for you don't forget to like comment and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you